guys, welcome back to my channel, Mermaid Nina here. I thought in tonight's video, I would do a top tips and tricks for traveling during high peak, crazy heat, hot season over at Disney World. However, I have done a few of these before where I talk about products you need to travel and bring during high peak season, right? Drink lots of water, make sure you have a fan. But I thought I would go beyond that and actually talk about park tips or a top five park game plan tips and tricks video. What do you guys think? So I'm assuming you've already watched my other videos and you know exactly what to pack so you can deal with the high heat uh, in Florida. But this time we're gonna talk about how maybe you should arrange or reorganize your park days. What do you guys think? Because right now it is nasty hot. It is crazy hot in Orlando and it's gonna continue to be crazy hot, probably could be into November. You just don't know. So. When we go, when it's this hot, you know, like as soon as you walk outside of your resort and you're already sweating, when we go during that time of year, um, my kind of game plan or points of focus are just different. They get adjusted because no one wants to be standing in the heat, getting burnt and getting heat stroke, passing out, all those horrible things. So I kind of change up my game plan when I go uh, to the parks. And since I'm headed there really, really soon, I thought I would help you guys out. So you guys ready? I've got five, my top five tips and tricks for dealing with the heat right now in terms of your game plan for the theme parks, you ready? So like usual, in no particular order, the first one is really to just park early and park late. What does this mean? I don't mean drive and park. I mean, go to the park first thing in the morning, right? But crack of dawn, as soon as the park opens, early morning park hours, get yourself to the park. A, it's cooler. B, the ride lines tend to be shorter. And then you might break in the middle of the day and then go back in the evening when A, it's hopefully a little cooler, maybe just a few degrees cooler, but usually ride lines are shorter and at least the sun is starting to come down, right? So absolutely, you wanna park early, park late, and break in the middle. Now, how do you take a break? Well, it can really just depend on where you're staying, right? On property guests who have monorail and Skyliner access, it might be easier to go back to the resort than people who have to drive a half an hour to an hour away. So how you break in the middle could just be different to whoever you are, where you're staying, what you got going on, right? But to break in the middle could be breaking for lunch. A long lunch, a nice air conditioning lunch, relax, sit back, enjoy. That could be a good break. You can also go back to your resort for the pool, some naps, yes, absolutely love a midday nap. Or if you can't really go anywhere, break for long in door rides, we will talk about it, and just soak up that air conditioning. Any, Just basically any way you can get a break from the sun. Ideally, depending on the park, going back to your resort is kind of key. Being able to refocus, take a nap, kind of wash yourself down a little bit, chug a bunch of water, that is definitely a perk when it's super duper crazy. But there's other things you can do to get a break from the sun. And yes, we're gonna talk about it in this video. But yes, absolutely, tip number one is to arrive early, stay late, and just try to get yourself some air conditioning in the middle however you wanna do that, break in the middle of the day. Number two is you really want to avoid lines that are in the sun, that's right. As a Disney veteran, that's right, someone who goes all the time, there are some rides I just won't go on because the line is literally all outside, all in the sun. Um, Tomorrowland Speedway, I'm talking about you. I don't know what it is about that ride absolutely hate riding it in the summer. 
Not only is a good chunk of the line outside, but you got the exhaust and the heat coming from those race cars and it's just like boom in your face and you're just like, oh my gosh, get me a fan quick. So yeah, Tomorrowland Speedway, nope, nope, nope. Not doing that in the high peak of the day <laughs> during the summer. I will, however, ride it in the evening once it gets cool. But anyway, you definitely want to avoid lines in the sun. Ways to do this. Some rides, like I said, have lines outside. Maybe avoid them because they can be brutal, especially if the line breaks, you know, if the ride breaks down and you're stuck in the sun. Oh my goodness. Just be careful with that. I definitely suggest Genie Plus. Now I know right now the parks are not busy. Genie Plus has been so cheap. I've been monitoring it. I think Animal Kingdom was $15 and Epcot was $15. Magic Kingdom was 20 to Park Hop was only $20. It has dropped significantly because no one's at the theme park. Even though ride lines are short, having Genie Plus means you get to skip being outside. This is important when it is that hot. So yes, 100% consider Genie Plus. Maybe not just to save ride time, you know, the wait in line, but to save you from the sun, right? You absolutely can consider packing a UV umbrella. That's right, special umbrellas that are designed to protect you from those UV rays. Now, heads up, I do find it really annoying to be walking around the theme park the whole time with an umbrella, especially while I'm filming. I got too much going on, but maybe for you it's convenient, but definitely an umbrella. If you got a scooter or a wheelchair, or a stroller protect anyone that is in those situations because you can it's super easy to attach an umbrella to those types of you know vehicle like situ you know the scooter and the stroller you guys know what i'm talking about definitely pack whatever you can get as coverage from the sun don't forget about the little stuff sunglasses sunscreen yeah i talked about it pack the fan pack anything that you can possibly think of to get you out of the sun whether that's a hat a visor, like I said, or umbrella. You definitely want to plan your game plan, right? We're going to talk about this a little bit more to avoid the sun and the lines. You want to do, you want to alternate rides that have really, really long lines with rides that have short lines. So you're not constantly waiting in an hour long line and then an hour long line and an hour long line, like mix and match. Wait for Space Mountain and then quickly go do Carousel Progress because there's never a line. That way you're not just in the sun constantly and your only break is the actual ride. Does that make sense? You wanna kind of mix and match long weights with short weights, which also brings me to mixing in potentially boring. I hate to say that about Disney, but some things aren't as popular as others for certain reasons, so I kind of call them boring. Uh, you wanna mix and match those things with the popular things. Why? Because some of these boring things, which I'm gonna talk about, you're in air conditioning for like 20 and 30 minutes. So you're giving your body that break. So if you just waited in a super duper long line outside, go do something that's not popular and is air conditioning. Definitely do that during the middle of the day when you need to break to avoid those high peak heat times. Also, the one thing we do is rather than focusing, I gotta do this ride and this ride, and you're going from area to area and you're that human ping pong ball, right? We just go from ride to ride to ride. I don't care what the ride is. If it's got a short wait and I'm getting air conditioning, I'm riding it. And this kind of brings in kind of those boring situations because I'm just trying to get air conditioning. If you need to discuss something with your family, don't discuss it in the middle of the sun. Step back a few feet and do it in the shade. You just wanna avoid anything in the sun as much as possible because I'm telling you, you're gonna get plenty throughout the day. So don't make it worse by purposely sitting in the sun or having conversations in the sun because by the time you've watched the parade, you're in the sun. So try to get out of it as much as you can. Number two was to avoid lines in the sun. Number three is to soak up that air conditioning as much as you can. And these are ways you can do that, right? Obviously table service dining, purposely get table service dining in the middle of the day. In fact, you can get it at off times at like two o'clock when you know the sun is really coming down. 
that's when you can secure those table service reservations. Make sure you plan early though and get those advanced dining reservations. Quick service. Some quick services have seating outdoors. Purposely get the ones that are indoors. Uh, Cosmic Rays, for example, just came out of my head. They have a huge section of seats that are indoors in air conditioning and it always surprises me how many people sit outside it's like did you not know that there was <laughs> indoor yes yeah, soak up that air conditioning as much as you can shopping even if i don't need to buy anything even if it's the same walt disney world t-shirt over and over again in all the shops i will absolutely duck into shopping even if I don't buy anything. Yeah, guys, let's just go check out this store real quick. And my family knows I'm trying to avoid the sun and I like shopping. We're getting a two for deal there by me shopping and avoiding the sun, but absolutely walk those shops. I've talked about it in my itinerary videos. Uh, I think it's uh, Hollywood does it and Magic Kingdom does it. They have a whole row of just shop after shop. Just walk through the shops. Go from point A to point B by going through the shops. You're maximizing air conditioning at that point. Yeah, they may be a little more crowded with people, but you're getting air conditioning as opposed to getting beaten down by the sun. Just something to consider. Like I said, you definitely wanna do long rides that have indoor seating situations in air conditionings. There are some rides, um, Journey into the Imagination with Figment. If you have watched my channel, you will know I don't like that ride, but I ride it anyway. A, my kitties love it. And B, it's air conditioning and I'm seated down. So it's like sitting in a theater with some slight movement and I'm getting pounded with some air conditioning. I will absolutely ride Figment over and over again if I have to, to avoid the sun. So know about those types of rides. We're gonna get into it so that you can avoid the sun and soak up that air conditioning. Shows, do all the shows. I talk about the shows at all the parks. I personally love them, so I have no problem doing them, but do them on purpose. What's really great about the shows most of them, very entertaining, amazing singing, dancing, whatever. Also, some very nice cool air, sometimes too cool, almost to the point where I need a hoodie. Absolutely love that when it's so hot outside. It's a great time to take a nap. And I don't wanna discount the actors and the singing and all that stuff going on, but when you're that hot and it's in the middle of the day, I'm sorry, Carousel of Progress, but I just might take a nap and that's okay with me because maybe I just needed it, right? So absolutely, you soak in that cool air, take a nap if you needed, rest a little bit and just enjoy. You wanna maximize, does this make sense? You wanna mix and match long lines with air conditioning, air conditioning shows, maybe you weren't top on your list, but you're mixing those with the things that are on your list so that you can get a break from the heat. Now. I've done my homework for you guys. I went to all four parks and I've listed out all the rides, attractions, shows, whatever, that have the most air conditioning or indoor queue situation. Meaning if I'm gonna wait in line, I'd rather wait in line for a ride that has an indoor queue. Indoor queue meaning air conditioning. You guys ready? Get out some paper and take notes because I'm going to list them all for you. Also, these work great on bad weather days too. These rides I'm going to give you, these work great when it's super duper hot. When it's super duper cold, yes, that happens. Check out my winter at Disney World video or when it's a, a raining like it is right now, we're in hurricane season. Absolutely, these rides are perfect for that as well. So Magic Kingdom, you ready? Country Bear Jamboree. This is a show some people might call boring. I mentioned it. Some people love this show. Either way, it's a show. It's indoors. You're sitting down, air conditioning, do it. It's at Magic Kingdom. Like I said, take a nap, no one cares. Just try not to snore too much, yeah? Next one up is Enchanted Tales with Belle. Now you can't really sleep during this one because it is kind of interactive but you're indoors, so enjoy it. If you've got a little princess, specifically do this one, middle of the day, avoid that high heat. The Hall of Presidents. I'm gonna be honest and say, I do not like the Hall of Presidents. Not my cup of tea. I will do it if I need a break and a rest because it's long 
And because I don't really enjoy it, I might take a nap, which is good for me too. But if you do like the thought of presidents and history and all that great stuff, then you can enjoy yourself while also getting air conditioning. But the Hall of Presidents is just perfect for that. It's a small world. Now I mentioned this, yes, it's a ride. You're on a boat and it's decently long and you're getting air conditioning. And most of the queue is covered which means it's an indoor queue that's also a long ride, which is also air conditioning, which also entertains the kids. You might not be able to entertain those kids at the Hall of Presidents, but you absolutely can on It's a Small World. Mickey's PhilharMagic. Now we showcase this, uh, this situation, this attraction uh, many times on my channel because we go every summer and we will absolutely do this every single summer. Not necessarily because we love it. It's not terrible but it's something where we can do indoors, sit down, air conditioning, it's a show. The queue is indoors, so when you're waiting for the show, you sit down on the carpet, air conditioning. You get in the show, you're in a seat, you're getting Disney music and imagery and you've got your 3D glasses on. Ugh. It's not the most amazing show on the planet, but it's perfect during high heat situations or stormy situations or cold situations. You guys get it. Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor. Now, I really only do this during Halloween. <laughs> I don't really do it throughout the year, but this is another great example of something you could do when it's super duper hot, when you're trying to take a break because it's indoors, it's a show. You don't really wanna sleep on this one because Mike Wazowski might, you know, talk to you a little bit during the show, but absolutely, you're sitting down, indoor queue, air conditioning, the whole nine yards, Monsters Link laugh floor. Now, I added Pirates of the Caribbean, why? Because the majority of the queue is absolutely covered and indoors, and it's so dark in there that that air conditioning just feels so good and so cold. And even though the ride isn't particularly very long, you could get a little wet, which might help you out, but it is very chilly in there, so that air conditioning is on full blast. So absolutely, trying to get out of the sun, go ride Pirates of the Caribbean. The People Mover, absolutely love The People Mover in Tomorrowland. Not only is it, is it an excellent ride, gives you a bird's eye view of Magic Kingdom, but it's breezy in there because the ride kind of can zip a little bit and it's going in and out of indoors, outdoors, but you're always covered. Absolutely love The People Mover. When my legs need a break, when, yep, someone might take a nap on The People Mover, absolutely great one to mix in midday. Carousel Progress, talked about it a little bit, 100%, never has a line. It's indoors, I think it's what, 20 minutes, so you're sitting down during a show with full-blown air conditioning in your seat. You wanna take a 20-minute nap? This could be the place for you. You wanna just get entertained for 20 minutes? Yep, Carousel Progress does that as well. The Tiki Room. Absolutely love the Tiki Room for this as well. Now I love the Tiki Room just generally, naturally, but it's especially great when there's a storm or we're hot, we will always duck into the Tiki Room. In fact, we'll go on the Jungle Cruise, which I love, but that's outdoors. So you're definitely sometimes feeling that sun. Then we'll pop into the Tiki Room and get that air conditioning and kind of refresh ourselves before we go on to the next ride. So absolutely, those are the ones listed at Magic Kingdom. But I'm not done guys, let's go to Epcot. Next up we have Epcot, right? So we've got the American Adventure located at the American Pavilion. I have talked about this before. This show is an animatronic retelling of America, right? With Benjamin Franklin and Mark Twain. Now, not only do I personally love this show, gives me a little taste of some history here, but I could absolutely take a nap. If I'm in that situation, it's air conditioned, you're sitting down, it's a show, absolutely. In fact, if you need more air conditioning, stay inside that building, inside that American Pavilion, because you can also check out the Voices of Liberty. Same situation, although you don't wanna fall asleep while listening to the Voices of Liberty, but again, you're getting entertainment, air conditioning, I think you guys know where I'm going with this. So yeah, Epcot, the American Adventure, the American Pavilion, enjoy it, sit, get your air conditioning, soak it up. Canada, far and wide. Now this is a Circle Vision 360 movie. 
that gets me a little motion sickness. It does, maybe I'm crazy pants, but I will absolutely do a, that experience with my family and kind of just close my eyes or not look at the video because A, I'm seated down and I'm getting air conditioning, that's right, have no problem doing that to soak in some air conditioning. The Disney and Pixar short film festivals. Same thing, you're watching some Pixar Disney uh, films on a screen, you're in a theater, air conditioning, you're seated down, absolutely. The Mexican Pavilion, you guys know it, it's my favorite pavilion. Not only do I love it, but it's indoors, which means air conditioning, so you can eat in there, shop in there, drink in there, and you can ride the Three Caballeros, which is a boat ride indoors air conditioning absolutely everything about the mexican pavilion as long as you're in you know the pyramid you are getting some air conditioning now i mentioned it earlier journey into the imagination with figment a it has an indoor queue b of the ride is decently length with air conditioning but when you exit the ride you exit into another kind of queue area where kids get to play make some sounds you could meet some characters there's a little store in there aka more air conditioning so soak it up let the kids play with some musical instruments because all you're doing is avoiding being in the sun absolutely key. Now, when we go to the Land Pavilion, which is one of my favorite pavilions over at Epcot, we got Living with the Land, which is an indoor exploratory type of ride regarding greenhouses and growing vegetables and fruits and the whole thing. It may be considered a boring ride to some people, but you're indoors and you're in a seat and you're getting air conditioning. The downside here is some of the parts of this ride does show some sun from the greenhouses, but either way, it's not too bad. You are covered, so yes, enjoy living with the land. While we're in the land pavilion, don't forget soaring around the world. Because you're indoors, the whole queue is indoors. The ride is indoors. You're seated down, air conditioning, do it, you'll love it. If you're headed over to China, the Reflections of China, much like Canada, it's a Circle Vision 360 movie. Yes, I will get a little motion sickness, but I can sit down and close my eyes. In fact, they have seating just outside the theater where you can just kind of sit inside the China Pavilion and just enjoy some air conditioning and then watch the movie and get even more air conditioning. I think you guys can tell how amazing these things are when it's super hot outside. This, these are the things you do when you need to take a break. The Sea with Nemo and Friends is an indoor ride with an indoor queue. When you exit, you exit into the Sea Base Aquarium, which is indoors, which has air conditioning. And then if you go further, you can do Turtle Talk with Crush. Air conditioning, they have a gift shop in there. So absolutely take your kids for an hour or two and just explore that whole area that involves Nemo and friends. And then of course, one of my favorite rides at Epcot is Spaceship Earth. Now, unfortunately, some of the line is outdoors, but once you get indoors in the giant golf ball, you are in some air conditioning for a decent amount of time and you're seated down. And I have taken naps on that ride too. So just depending on your needs of the day, uh, these are the great things to do at Epcot. But I'm not done because we have Hollywood Studios. So Beauty and the Beast live on stage. Now this is a stage show and you get to sit down. However, some of the seats are under the sun. You don't want those seats. So you wanna make sure you arrive early and sit as close to the stage as possible because then you're covered, so absolutely do that. Disney Junior Play and Dance. Yep, that is an indoor situation, air conditioning. The kids can dance. You can just kind of sit down and enjoy. Perfect. The Frozen Sing-Along Celebration. Now, I personally love this show, kids and adults, but you're in a theater. It's chilly. The show is decently length. Yep, air conditioning. Then we got the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular. Now, similar to Beauty and the Beast, you want to arrive earlier because the closer you sit to the stage, the more coverage you're getting. So even though you're technically kind of outside, when you're under that, you know, the under the rooftop there, you do feel some of that air, like air conditioning. If you're late to the show, you're sitting closer to the sun, that's not what you want. 
Next up, Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. Now this show was 100% designed for little kids. But I can't tell you how many times I've gone solo as an adult. I just sit in the back, let the kids have the front seats. But either way, it's a show. It's animatronic. It's entertaining. It's air conditioning. Then we've got Muppets 3D Vision. I can't tell you how many times we will do Muppets um, literally over and over and over again because there's never a line. The queue is indoors. The show is indoors. It's a theater, so you've got seats, air conditioning. It's funny. It's the Muppets. We'll go on it like twice in a row, especially if we're waiting for like a Genie Plus pass or we're waiting for a reservation and we're trying to kill time absolutely do the Muppets. Then I've got Toy Story Mania here. Now some of the line can squish out a little bit under the sun, but once you get in the building, you're indoors, air conditioning. Most of the queue is indeed indoors. And then of course, once you get on the ride, it's rather quick, you're shooting, you're scoring points, but you're at least in a kid-friendly, family-friendly, awesome for everybody ride with an indoor queue. So absolutely had to mention Toy Story Mania. Now, Animal Kingdom. A big chunk of Animal Kingdom is outdoors, especially if you wanna check out those animals, but I have a few things listed that you can do during high heat season, or like I said, bad weather. So the Wildlife Express train, they do have kind of an indoor queue waiting area that it's at least covered. Usually they have these giant fans on full power to help cool you down. Then you get on a train which takes you to the conservation station, which is indoors. So yes, air conditioning. You can go check out some animal exhibits. You can watch some animal caretakers do their thing. And you can do the animation experience and draw some characters, all of which air conditioning indoors. Now, you wanna ride with an indoor queue? You can try Dinosaur, big chunk of dinosaurs queue is indoors. You're getting an indoor queue with a pretty decently length indoor ride with lots of air conditioning. Now you want some shows, actual sit down, theater shows, air conditioning, take a nap, yeah. Got Festival of the Lion King and Finding Nemo, the big blue and beyond. Love both shows, I've talked about them before, but if you have a kiddo that needs to take a nap, perhaps you need to take a nap. These are both good situations. Uh, both, well, Nemo's cue isn't totally indoors, but once you get into the theater, you're absolutely indoors, air conditioning. Lion King, a big chunk of it is under a pavilion, and then once you get indoors, it's all indoor air conditioning. And then of course, tough to be a bug. I know it's not my favorite situation, but most of the queue is at least covered. And then once you get inside the theater, it's all indoors. So again, you can soak up all that air conditioning. Now, Cali River Rapids, I had to mention it because it's a water ride. That's right, you wanna cool off, get some of that sweat wiped off you, absolutely go on Cali River Rapids. Kilimanjaro Safaris. Now you are in like a Jeep-like vehicle under the sun, 100% outside. But because of the way the Jeep kind of goes through the savanna, it does kind of feel like it's cooling you off a little bit. So if you want to see the animals, but yet you also want to be kind of covered and cooled off a little bit, then you want to do Kilimanjaro Safaris. So anyway, guys, I hope you took notes because these are kind of the things we will focus on mixed with our top list. So we'll take our top list of things we really, really want to do that day, and then we'll mix it with all of these things so we can maximize that air conditioning, especially during high peak heat sun time of the day. Hopefully that makes sense. Now we're moving on here to number four. Now the number four way to kind of beat the heat as a game plan is to attempt to do the water parks. That's right, Disney World has two water parks and yes, they are outside under the sun, but you've got some really cold water here. So we've got Typhoon Lagoon and Blizzard Beach. Now Blizzard Beach is currently closed, but you never know when it's gonna open. Sometimes both are open, sometimes just one's open. Either way, water park. So if you like water, consider adding the water park package to uh, your Disney reservation, right? So here's a few things you need to know about going to the water park. First, if you're staying on Disney property, 
your resort will have a bus that will take you to the water park. So easy breezy. If you're driving, if you're local, if you're off property, you can actually park at the water parks uh, complimentary. So there is a free parking for you there. Now, you do have to pack your own towels or you're going to end up renting them. You can get complimentary life jackets if you have kiddos or someone who needs a life jacket. They do have those for you, but just note towels you need to bring. Also, you can rent a locker. So if you're bringing towels and bags and snacks and all those things, you can absolutely rent a locker and they have dining there as well, as well as like a gift kind of sundry shop where you can pick up last minute things like inner tubes or floaties and sunscreen and a little bag of chips and stuff like that you can get inside the gift shop. Now, you wanna consider renting some sort of shady pavilion for your family or like at Typhoon Lagoon, they have umbrellas. You rent an umbrella, like a big umbrella, with it comes a table and like four chairs and some towels. So you 100% are guaranteed a shady area. You definitely want to do this. It does cost you more money, but I can tell you it's going to be worth it in the end, especially if you're going for all day long. Because the last thing you want to do is go to the water park, but then you're stuck in the sun all day long. Try to be in advance, make reservations in advance to either rent out a shady area, a pavilion, an umbrella, whatever, a shack. They have so many different options depending on which water park you want to go to. Now, if you want to surf, yep, surf on a surfboard, you do need to make a reservations because they do have times so you could do open surf or private surf. Again, this is going to cost you money, but if surfing is number one on your list, you definitely want to research that in the app per the water park and absolutely hands down before you go to one of Disney's water parks, you wanna look at the know before you go section on the app because they do have a bunch of really important information there regarding dress code, coolers, like I said, towels, lockers, all those kind of things. You just wanna make sure you're doing all the right thing before you go to the water park because it is a little bit different than going to a theme park, right? So yes, number four on my list is to consider adding one of the water parks to your vacation package. Number five. Number five might seem a little generic, but you need to be flexible because you just don't wanna get into a situation where you are dehydrated, you do wanna pass out, and all those things which we really, really, really don't want on our Disney vacation. So like I said, it does seem like a dumb tr tip, but it is 100% true. We never get to do everything that we wanna do when it's that hot out. Because like I said, we're doing one thing and then we're quickly ducking into air conditioning and then maybe we do another thing and we quickly duck into air conditioning or we take a break in the middle of the day. That takes away time from doing all the things that we want. So you absolutely wanna make that top five list. Focus on your top five need to do, must do things and mix it with the rides and the shows that I mentioned so that you can maximize having air conditioning and then what you wanna do and then air conditioning and then what you really, really wanna do. That way you're not getting yourself into a situation where you wanna pass out or you don't feel good or you got overheated and all those things that no one wants to deal with, right? So you definitely wanna mix in shade, air conditioning and breaks and be flexible about it because you might not get to do all the things because it just might be too hot and you do have to make sure your body can handle all of those things. So we absolutely will mix the things we want to do and the things we need to do per our body, per taking breaks, per air conditioning. I think you guys get what I am talking about here. So yes, this is my top five list of things you need to consider and plan for when going to the theme parks when it's super duper hot. Like I said, a game plan. Mix and, mi mix and match all the cool popular things with maybe some of the air conditioning things. We absolutely will do this. And I will be honest and say, a lot of those air conditioning things I mentioned are actually high on my list. I actually enjoy them. There's only a few of them where I'm like, that might be a little boring. 
most of them I absolutely love. So definitely do your research, check them out, and try to figure out how you can maximize avoiding the sun and gaining all that air conditioning. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful, especially when I listed out all the rides and attractions that are perfect for dipping in to get some air conditioning. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is red, please click it, turn it gray, hit the bell icon for notifications. A like this video, comment, let me know what you do in the high peak season of heat. Do you just stay in the parks and go to these air conditioning shows or do you take a break midday, come back in the evening? Let me know how you do summer at Disney World. Please, please, please uh, share my uh, videos if you can. And as always, mahalo for watching. Nina out.